Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In, In a handbasket. Hi everybody, welcome back to Handbasket Gaming. I'm Corwin and that's Adam. We're playing Legend of Zelda. We're about to run into this eastern palace going on. Whee! They've got those little balloon people up at the front. It's really exciting. Check this out. Those these guys just have giant eyes for faces. This is a game. <laughs> We're a little bit, uh, kind of like loopy slash trying to just get back in the groove, as you probably could tell by that last episode, where we spent the entire time looking for something that's already Dude, in his inventory. That last episode was a full day ago. They don't, nobody remembers that. Adam had, uh, has had to go on his big, like, family adventure to Disney. So, I did we have that. not, uh, done any recording for a while, so we are just all kinds of trying to figure this all out. Yeah, it was like. What, it's been three weeks or so? Somewhere around there? Because, yeah, I took uh, took my whole fam damnly to Disney. Had uh, both my brothers, both of their, uh, you know, my, my older brother's wife and my, the younger brother's girlfriend and both my parents and my wife and my three-year-old nephew. And it was a lot of fun because I love Disney World. Say, my favorite thing about when you came back from that, when he comes back from that, he tells me, uh, he's like, you know, man, dude, you gotta go to Disney sometime. And I was like, yeah, and he's like, Disney makes you want to have babies. <laughs> That's true, actually. I, uh, I'm not sure if I told you this. Uh, I was talking to one of the guys in the office about that because, like, back, you know, me and my wife go to Disney, like, once every two years or so if we can manage it. Um, and the last time we went, back in 14, 2014, uh, we... Like you, like, you go there, and it's kind of magical, and you see all these cute kids seeing all this magic for the first time, and you're just like, it's a little, it's a little, a little bit warming of the heart. And, uh... It turned to Kermit the Frog in the spot. Yeah, a little, little warm heart. Warm the heart. I can't uh, do Kermit at all. Never no, mind. you can't. Um, <laughs> I can do Fozzie. Want to hear a funny-ass joke? <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> so... You know, we we started getting that feel where it's just like oh, maybe maybe we could have kids. Maybe it's about time to start considering that. You know, it's very very sentimental and very, you know, whatever. Um, and I was talking to a guy at the office about that, and he just like I told him that story, and he's just like he just got really quiet for a minute there. I'm just like, what? What's just, going you, on? Oh, look, we found some dough. Looks like a tongue. See, I always thought it looked like dough. Like where you're like kneading it out and stuff, or like oh, like like crescent rolls when you're unrolling them from the thingy. You it's got the map. You can use it to see your current position and the rest of the dungeon. Press X. X. Hey, look, a map. Nice. But uh, but he just got really quiet, and uh, I look over at him, and he's like he's like counting on his fingers, and I I just sort of smile. I'm just like, did you just real realize something about your kids? Because he's got two daughters. And he he's just like, definitely the first one. I'm doing math on the second one. Hang on. <laughs> so it turns out that uh, Disney's that for his, making babies. His kids were uh, Disney. Babies. Maybe maybe not direct uh, products of uh, of a Disney vacation, but definitely uh, aftermath. <laughs> and I'm I, I was glad to hear it wasn't just me I just, though. When you say that. Because um, I'll be honest, you actually did tell me that story, but I really wanted you to share that story with other people okay. because I think it's a great story. Yeah. But it just makes me like, I want to, I want to do like a science experiment behind that. I want, I want you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get involved in your, you and your wife's uh, relationships because what, I, what I want you to do is I want you guys to get all saucy, and then I just want like barbecue like, sauce. I want like, uh, like, like, like Goofy to show up, and be like. Woof woof, and just see if that like inspires anything. Goofy doesn't bark. I don't know what Goofy does. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's terrible. That's even better. That's really gonna get the juices flowing. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Perhaps we. You should found go the compass. Straight with Mickey then. Now you can pinpoint the layer. Ha uh -huh, ha! You the found compass. the compass. <laughs> now you can pinpoint the layer of evil, layer of the dungeon's evil. Ha uh ha! -huh, master. <laughs> <laughs> the so layer of the dungeon's evil, master. master. 
Ah, finish eyes, Sahasrila. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Like you do. That's, I am, that's I, really strange. I often walk up to walls and touch triangles and hear Some old men speaking old men to, me. Talk to me. Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. You, you sound like Deckard Cain from the Diablo games when you talk like that. <laughs> you really do. Like, I'm okay with that. Like, it, like straight up Deckard Cain going on right there. Um, Decker Kane would not, in fact, help uh, in in the in the baby making process. He's just not nearly as romantic as, say, Aladdin. Is. But you could just stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> we uh, that's that's a great pickup line. That's a character. Oh, yeah. Stay around. That's a character we invented at the office. It's uh, it's Deckard Bane. Mm, stay a while and listen. <laughs> Diablo is coming. Also, Gotham is yours. I need a big key for that. <laughs> you do need a big key for that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a big key. Yeah. I'm saying like, that a they piece of metal, a metal that fits that's large to get the into the hole. Yeah, because that's a lot And then it would like unlock the machine chest. inside that makes and it go floop, and then you got flop, which is the present inside the box. Get away from me. You have a flashlight? Yes. And apparently. Whoa, that, that got a little trippy there for a second. Oh, and I almost forgot the other interesting part of my Disney vacation. Um, you can, uh, you you kids can uh, can check the uh, check the history books about uh, Hurricane Matthew. Um, that rolled through Florida. And, well, it rolled through a lot of places. It was a very, very bad and devastating hurricane. Um, it happened to roll you through. Say that it just kept rolling, 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 rolling. What? Was it rolling, 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 rolling? Come on! <laughs> I can't believe. So it did. It kept yeah. rolling, rolling, rolling. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Limp Biscuit. <laughs> a friend Durst. <laughs> God damn. What? Is it too too you know, spot on of an impression? I understand. For you? I understand. Can't handle it. I understand why people are like, man, the Nickelback is terrible. But I always wonder, like, guys, before you like really hit on the Nickelback, go ahead and hit on Nickelback. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to hit on way. Nickelback. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. But like, did people forgotten about Limp Bizkit? Because holy crap, that guy was terrible. Well, yeah, that's. I mean. Back, like, when I was that age... God damn it, I need a big key again. Um, back when I was of an age where, like, when, well, when the biscuit was new, I was young enough that I didn't really know any better, and I was this, like, I was this little white kid in the suburbs, and I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is hardcore. <laughs> I remember being a kid and, like, like, singing lyrics to that guy, and I had no idea what chocolate starfish meant. Oh, yeah, not at so all. So just in school, no nope. chocolate starfish! That was never what? a lyric. That was just the title of the album. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's I, uh, even worse. I, wow. I remember uh, like Limp Biscuit and Kid Rock. Those were. Uh, I thought they were the same person. Yeah, like it was. It would be Limp Biscuit, Kid Rock, and Eminem were were like my uh, my go to. Like, yeah, I'm as cool as my cousins from Cleveland. Considering how judgmental I was about music, I would have hated you when we were kids. I judge people immediately as the, about their music. I was, I was that music douchebag. I was like, "What do you listen?" To? And my music wasn't any better by any means. <laughs> but I'm like, "What do you, what do you listen to?" And they're like, "I uh, listen to this." I'm like, "Oh yeah, well, fuck you." <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to. Uh, I'm, you know, I like to listen to metal. What do you listen to? I, I like uh, Eminem. I like, I like You're Clay. a bad person. I like to listen to Clay personally. Clay, you like to listen to Christian rock. Like not even oh I'm sorry I was thinking uh, jars, jars of, clay. of clay. Jars you actually, of clay. Yeah. I know exactly what jars of clay. I can't were. believe anybody I just, ever. I, I thought that was just a me thing. No man, no jars of clay. That's, we actually. Uh, what was it? It was concert. No no no. We uh, my like back. Okay, so this was. I was this like is the ten, maybe. Um. I was like 10 years old, and we would listen to, um, it was, 
hundred point seven. Uh, WMMS, the buzzard. I remember back, the buzzard. Back when the buzzard was a thing. Um, and we listened to that, and... This is the one thing, the one thing that I know. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's taking me back. Um, so, uh, we actually, there was a contest, and my brother called in, and, you know, like, this was, this was back in the... Which brother is this? Wee! Whoa. Nope. <laughs> Some, <laughs> sometimes you can fall down holes and it get like it's a uh, you fall down to a different place. Neither of these is that. Shit. Um But yeah, he called in and he won a copy of the Jars of Clay album. And uh I listened to that more than is healthy. <laughs> Not realizing at all that it was Christian rock. Like, oh, yeah, no, I, like when I was this kid, is pretty I catchy, and I like it. I think that I think that that's the trick of of uh, cr cr Christian rock to like get people who aren't like into religious music. They'll they'll just not realize that it's religious music until you know they've listened to it and know all the words. Yeah, and then they're like, "Ah, oh, we got you. <laughs> you like Jesus now." That's <laughs> 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 just how that works. <laughs> like as, I, I, as I Jesus on. once said, trick him into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's in the doctrine <laughs> at all, but you don't know. know. So I don't you know. Don't, you've I never met there. Jesus. I wasn't there. I haven't met Jesus either, so you know, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going I, um, around in circles now. I by the next episode I will uh I will regain my bearings and know what the hell I'm trying to do here. <laughs> um but yeah, so uh, I, I actually got a I got a CD once I won from a from one of those type of stations. I think it was like ninety two point three Extreme Radio. They had a van outside of my school. That's I was trying to end the episode, Corbin. Oh, yeah, but I wanted to tell my story first. <laughs> All right, tell your goddamn. These story. guys want to hear my story. Sure, they do. You guys want to hear? comment down below if you wanted to hear his story or if he's just wasting all of our time. <laughs> All right, well, this is what happened. I'm at school, the van's hanging out outside, Fuck. and they're trying to convince kids to take off their coats in the snow and make snow angels. And I'm like, I'll do it for a free CD, sweet. And then they gave my one friend the CD that I really wanted and gave me this other CD that I was like, I don't want to listen to these dudes. And eventually I, l I listened to the album, turned out to be like one of my favorite albums, and I discovered that I really liked a band called Queens of Stone Age. Oh, yeah. Because nice. they gave me Queens of Stone Age album significantly better than your uh, I Got a Freaking Jars of Clay album story. Yeah, right, everybody? You. Right? Comment down below with how Queen terrible Stone my Age story versus, is. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Jars don't, of Clay. Don't, I don't want to see. Ratings. Don't answer that question because clearly <laughs> Jars of Clay win. are superior to. It's the one stuff. thing that you know, isn't it? Dave Grohl, fucking <laughs> more like Dave. Take a stroll away from me. Taking a stroll into the black hole that you fall into. And uh, bye, everybody. Goodbye. Later. It's question time, Corwin. I'm skipping yeah, questions asshole. just to get the fuck away from that. All right, all right. so uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and, and let him ask you the question. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking well. <laughs> uh, so we're both uh, we're both big uh, big nerds, and we like comic books and whatnot. Uh, who is our each of our favorite DC superhero? Comment down below or can answer. Add, can we also add below? a possible supervillain? We might like a villain better. I mean, no, right. no, we'll do we'll do villains in that, different that, that's like, Just just heroes. heroes. Just Don't heroes. listen to him. Just heroes. Just heroes. Just heroes. Do you want to send? Because we can keep talking. Because anyway, uh, yeah. Answer the comments down below. We will uh, end of the week. We'll tell you who was right and give shout outs and whatever. Bye, everybody. The one thing that I know. Bye. <laughs>